Hey, magandang buhay. So, ako si Sir Ben at narito ako upang i-discuss ang uh, um, undefined terms, defined terms, postulates, at saka theorems. Ready ka na? Great. So, simulan natin yan sa undefined terms. So, ano nga ba ang undefined terms? So, yung undefined terms, ito yung mga ideas um, from the word itself. Undefined terms, we cannot define them simply because we are just simply describing them. Okay? So, yung mga undefined terms na to, sila yung mga basis para ma-define yung mga iba pang terms sa geometry. No? So, umpisa natin yung undefined terms sa point. So, ano nga ba ang point? So, point, tawag dito, in real life situation, ito yung mga tip of a pencil, tip of a needle, corner of a paper. No? So, basically, point has no dimensions. So, no length, no width, and no thickness. Okay? So, kumbaga, it is somehow, parang ano lang siya, parang locator lang siya. No? Next, Line. Ano nga ba ang line? So, in real life situation, no? string of a wire, edge of a paper, um, path of a moving object. So, line, um, yung dimension lang niya is length. It has length, pero wala siyang width, wala siyang thickness. So, line, at tatandaan natin, line is a set of points that extends indefinitely in both directions. Next is yung plane. So, plane naman, um, example nito sa real life, tabletop, blackboard, screen ng mga gadgets natin or na laptop natin. Okay? So, plane, may dimension siya, length at saka width, pero wala siyang thickness. Okay? Um, next, uh, pumunta naman tayo sa defined terms. So, again, tatlo lang yung undefined terms natin, point, line, plane. Yun lang. Next is yung mga defined terms. So, simulan natin yung defined terms sa segment. So, segment is just simply a part of a line that has two endpoints. So, nag naman, uh, ray. Ray is also a part of a line that starts with one endpoint and extends indefinitely in only one direction. So, nag tayo, um, collinear points. Pag sinabi naman natin collinear points, these are points that can be seen in one line only. So, points that lie on the same line. Sunod naman is coplanar points. So kapag sinabi naman natin coplanar points, these are points that lie on the same plane. Okay? So ibig sabihin, ito yung mga points na makikita lang sa isang plane. Next, parallel lines. So parallel lines, these are coplanar lines. Take note of this definition. These are coplanar lines. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga lines na nasa isang plane lamang. Coplanar lines that do not intersect. Sunod naman is yung Intersecting lines. So, yung intersecting lines, um, these are lines, two lines that will meet at exactly one point. Sunod is perpendicular lines. So, kapag sinabi naman natin perpendicular lines, these are intersecting lines that form a 90 degree angle. So, intersecting lines, tapos makakabuo siya ng right angle. Sunod is skew lines. Skew lines, these are non coplanar lines. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga lines na hindi mo makikita sa isang plane lang. Ibig sabihin, they are located in two different planes. Okay? So, skew lines are non-coplanar lines that um, will not intersect nor parallel. So, yeah, uh, so as you can see on our screen, meron tayong three-dimensional figure dito. Yung red lines na makikita nyo, sila yung example ng uh, tawag dito ng skew lines. So, hindi mag intersect yung dalawang red lines na yan o kaya hindi sila parallel. Okay? Kasi pag sinabi natin parallel lines, um, dapat they lie on the same plane. Okay? Next, angle. Pag sinabi natin angle, um, binubuo ito ng dalawang ray na kung saan they have a common endpoint called vertex. So, dalawang rays, tapos uh, tawag dito, yung endpoint nila iisa lang. Okay? Pinagsama sila. Sunod, congruent angles. Pag sinabi natin congruent angles, ito yung mga angles na may parehong measurement. Okay? These are angles with the same measurement. Sunod, Acute angle. So, sa types of angles naman tayo, acute angle, ibig sabihin nito, yung sukat niya is from zero de um, in between. Between 0 degree to 90 degrees. Sunod is yung, uh, ulitin ko ha, yung acute angle, yung measurement niya is between 0 degrees hanggang, uh, between siya, um, kumbaga, more than 0 degrees, uh, 0 degree, less than 90 degrees. Yung right angle naman, yung sukat niya is exactly 90 degrees. Susunod naman dito yung obtuse angle. Yung obtuse angle naman, yung sukat niya is mas mataas sa 90 degrees pero hindi lalagpas 
ng 180 degrees. Ibig sabihin, more than 90 but less than 180 degrees. Sunod naman dito yung straight angle. Pag sinabi natin straight angle, yung sukat ng angle na to is exactly 180 degrees. While yung last is yung reflex angle, yung sukat naman nito is more than 180 but less than 360 degrees. Okay? So, that is adjacent angles. So, pag sinabi natin adjacent angles, um, two angles that share a common ray. Okay? So, based dito sa figure natin, we have here angle 1 and angle 2. Tapos, they have a common ray. Yung common ray nila, eto. No? So, that naman is complementary angles. So, complementary angles, two angles that when you add, um, yung sagot ay 90 degrees. Yung sukat, yung measurement ng dalawang angles kapag ka pinag-add, ang sukat, ang sagot ay 90 degrees. Sunod naman is yung syempre supplementary angles. Kapag sinabi naman nating supplementary angles, two angles na kapag ka pinag-add, yung magiging sagot ay 180 degrees. Yung measurement, yung ng dalawang angles na kapag ka pinag-add, ang sagot ay 180 degrees. Okay? Sunod is yung vertical angles. Yung vertical na angles naman, um, nabubuo ito kapag ka we have a two lines that are intersecting. Based sa figure na to, yung dalawang angle A dyan, sila yung mga vertical angles. Yung dalawang angle B dyan, sila yung another pair ng vertical angles. So, vertical angles are not adjacent angles. Okay? So, again, based sa figure na yan, yung dalawang angle A, vertical angles sila, pair sila ng vertical angle. Tapos, yung dalawang angle B dyan, pangalawang pair naman ng vertical angles. Okay? Sunod so, is yung linear pair. So, kapag ka sinabi naman nating linear pair, um... Um, dapat may two conditions ito. Unang-una, um, they must be adjacent angles. Tapos pangalawa, yung uncommon ray nila uh, must form a line. So parang ganito na nakikita nyo sa screen. So again, kailangan ano to ha? Ray dapat ito. So arrowhead dapat to Arrowhead din ito. Then arrowhead din ito. So first condition, kailangan adjacent sila. So they have a um, common ray here. Tapos yung pangalawang condition, yung uncommon rays nila must form a straight line. Okay? Or they must be an opposite um, opposite race dapat sila. No? Next, um, betweenness. Pag sinabi natin betweenness, yung point na yon is nasa gitna ng dalawang points. So as you can see on our figure here, um, line segment AC, yung point B is in between point A and point C. Sunod tayo, midpoint. So kapag sinabi naman natin midpoint, um, ito ay isang point na kung saan dinidivide niya yung isang segment into two equal parts. As you can see on our screen, yung point M, dinivide niya yung line segment AB into two equal parts. Sunod, segment by sector. Pag sinabi naman natin segment by sector, ito ay isang line, isang ray, o kaya isa pang um, segment na kung saan dinidivide niya ang isang segment into two equal parts. So based dito sa figure na nakikita nyo, yung line CD is a segment by sector. Simply because yung line segment AB ay na-divide into two equal parts. Sunod, perpendicular by sector. So, kapag ka sinabi naman natin perpendicular by sector, segment by sector siya, yun nga lang, meron pang isang condition, kailangan makabuo sila ng right angle. So, based dito sa nakikita nyo sa screen natin, yung line RS is a perpendicular by sector simply because, una, dinivide niya yung line segment PQ into two equal parts and at the same time, they form a right angle. So, na tayo. Transversal. So, when you say transversal, this is a line, a ray, or a segment that intersects two different lines at two different points. So, ayan siya. So, yung red line dyan, yan ay isang transversal. So, dinaanan niya, yung dalawang lines dyan, yung kulay blue at saka yung kulay black into two different points. So, um, we also have here yung alternate interior slash exterior angles. So, pag sinabi natin alternate interior angles, Sa figure na to, ito yung mga angles na nasa loob. Tapos, pair, pair ito, yung isang pair is nasa left side ng transversal. Yung, isang, yung isa naman, yung kaparas niya is nasa right side ng transversal. So, nasa loob sila. So, ito yon So, yung first pair is ito. Saka ito. Yung second pair naman is ito. Follow my cursor. Saka ito. Yung alternate exterior angles, exterior nasa labas. So, ibig sabihin noon, may dalawang pares tayo. Yung isang pares, Yung isang angle makikita mo sa left side, yung isa sa right. And then the other one is, yung other pair naman is, yung isang angle na sa right side, yung isang angle na sa left side. So, based dito sa figure natin, ito yung first pair ng exterior angle natin. Tapos, yung second pair naman ay ito. Okay? Sunod naman is yung corresponding angles. So, sa corresponding angles naman, ito yung parang nagja-jump tayo. So, if I may describe it here, ito siya. 
yung first corresponding angle natin. So, kapag ka meron tayong transversal tapos dalawang lines, we have four pairs of corresponding angles. First pair, ito, yung beta. Pangalawa naman, yung gamma. Tapos, ito, yung dito sa baba, saka ito. And then, yung last is yung alpha. Yun yung mga corresponding angles. Okay? Same side interior slash same side exterior angles. So, pag sinabi natin same side interior angles, these are interior angles that can be seen in one side only. Pag sinabi naman natin ex um, same side exterior angles, these are exterior angles that can be seen in one side only. So, dito sa figure natin, yung same side interior angles, eto. First pair. Second pair. Yung same side exterior angles naman, eto. Yung nasa taas, sa kayo nasa baba. And, eto. So, yan yung mga same side exterior angles natin. Proceed naman tayo sa postulate and theorem. So, ano nga bang pinakaiba ng postulate at saka ng theorem? So, kapag sinabi natin postulate, these are statements that uh, di na kailangan patunayan, don't need to be proven. While yung theorem naman, these are statements that need to be proven. Kailangan pa silang patunayan by series of previous statements or by, um, we can prove theorems by, uh, with the use of definitions and uh, postulates. Okay? So, um, yung nilagay ko sa video na to, ito yung mga maraming, um, I'm using two books here. So, ang um, nilagay ko dito is yung mga kadalasang ginagamit sa pagpuprove ng mga um, theorems. No? So, yung, ito yung mga kadalasan na ginagamit based sa experience ko. Unahin natin yung line postulate. So, kapag sinabi natin line postulate, so, kumbaga parang sinasabi dito, um, any two points determine a line. So, kapag may two points ka, ibig sabihin na may line na pwedeng dumaan dun sa point na yun. Okay? So, yun naman is yung angle addition postulate. So, dun naman sa angle addition postulate, uh, tawag dito, involved dito yung adjacent angle. So, ang sinasabi ng um, angle addition postulate is that yung sukat ng angle O, the measurement of angle O is actually equal to the measurement of angle 1 plus the measurement of angle 2. So, pinaka, uh, para mas madaling maintindihan, pag pinag-add mo yung sukat ng angle 1 doon sa sukat ng angle 2, ang makukuha mo is yung sukat ng angle O based sa figure natin. Sunod naman, supplement postulate. So, kapag uh, sinabi natin, um, tawag dito, supplement postulate, if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. So, basta linear pair yan, automatic supplementary na sila. Yun yung sinasabi ng supplement, uh, supplement postulate. Next is yung pair of corresponding angles are congruent. So, um, etong um, last postulate na pinakita ko dito sa video na to is under ito sa mga transversals. So, if we have two parallel lines cut by, cut by a transversal, therefore, yung mga corresponding angles nila equal yung sukat. No? Sunod. Theorems naman tayo. Simulan natin yan sa midpoint theorem. So, pag sinabi natin midpoint theorem, um, a segment has exactly one midpoint. So, again, sa so video na to hindi natin gagawin na ipuprove yung bawat theorem dito. So, baka pinapakita ko lang dito ano yung mga theorems na kadalasang nagagamit. Next, sa ito yung mga theorems na na-discuss na nung tayo ay grade 7. Sunod naman tayo, the supplement theorem. So, kapag ka sinabi natin supplement theorem, um, supplements of congruent angles are congruent. Ibig sabihin no, say for example, we have two angles that are congruent. Yung supplement ng angle na to is, say for example, yung angle dito sa taas. And then yung supplement ng angle na to is yung angle dito sa taas. Ang sinasabi ng supplement theorem is that itong dalawang angles na to ay congruent. Let me give you an example. Say for example, we have yung angle A natin, yung sukat niya is 40 degrees. Tapos yung angle B natin, which is congruent to angle A, ang sukat niya is 40 degrees. So syempre, yung supplement ng angle A, um, that will be 140. That will be the same with the supplement of angle B, which is also 140 degrees. So, yun yung sinasabi ng supplement theorem. Sunod naman is yung complement theorem. So, almost the same lang sa supplement. So, kapag ka sinabi natin complement theorem, complements of congruent angles are congruent. So, same concept lang siya dun sa unang na-discuss. No? Next is yung vertical angle theorem. So, kapag ka sinabi natin vertical angle theorem, if two angles are vertical angle, then they have the same measure. Ibig sabihin nun, congruent sila. Sunod. If two angles are complementary, then they are uh, both acute angles. Well, definitely, no? So, kumbaga, parang mas, mas maintindihan natin. Say, for example, di ba, when we say complementary angles, pag pinag mo, ang sagot ay 90 degrees. So, um, the two angles that you will add definitely will be less than 90 degrees. So, kumbaga, parang yun na yung parang sim simple way of proving this theorem. No? So, no? Um, PAIA theorem. So, uh, tawag dito, pair of, tawag dito, parallel angles or pair of, sorry, ah, pair of alternate interior angles. 
pair of alternate interior angles to rep. So, ang sinasabi nito is, if we have a parallel lines, tapos yung parallel lines na yun is cut by a transversal, ang sinasabi lang dito is yung alternate interior angles, yung magiging sukat nila is parehas lang. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, si, um, ito ha, yung dalawang lines na to, parallel sila, tapos itong slanting line yung transversal natin. Ang sinasabi na um, pair of alternate interior angles theorem is that yung angle 3 at saka yung angle 6, parehas lang yung sukat. Tapos yung angle 4 at saka yung angle 5, parehas lang din yung sukat. Sunod is yung um, pair of alternate exterior angles theorem. So same lang din yan dito. So if we have a parallel line cut by a transversal, therefore yung pair ng exterior angles, parehas lang yung sukat. Based sa figure na to, yung angle 1 at saka yung angle 8, parehas yung sukat. Yung angle 2 at saka yung angle 7, parehas din yung sukat. Next, um, tawag dito, um, pair of interior angle, same side theorem. Ang sinasabi naman ito is, um, if we have a parallel lines cut by a transversal, therefore, the interior angles on the same sides are supplementary. Ibig sabihin nun, pag tinag-add mo yung sukat ng angle 3 at saka yung sukat ng angle 5 dito, ang sabot ay 180 degrees. Same thing doon sa pag pinag-add mo yung sukat ng angle 4 at saka yung sukat ng angle 6 dito, ang magiging sagot ay 180 degrees. Sunod naman is yung pair of exterior angle, same side theorem. Ang sinasabi naman dito, so actually this will be the last theorem, ang sinasabi naman dito is um, if we have a parallel lines, two parallel lines that is being cut by a transversal, therefore yung pair of exterior angles on the same side, uh, sila ay magiging supplementary angles. Ibig sabihin, pag pinag-add mo yung sukat ng angle 1 doon sa sukat ng angle 7, ang sagot ay 180 degrees. Pag pinag-add mo yung sukat ng angle 2 doon sa sukat ng angle 8, ang sukat ay 180 degrees din. Okay? So, yun lang. Yun yung undefined terms, defined terms, postulates sa theorem. So, just to review, um, undefined terms at yung points, lines, and planes. So, tawag dito, we are defining them, we are just simply describing them, ginagamit ito, basis ito, para ma-define pa yung mga ibang um, terms sa geometry. Defined terms, these are terms that are being defined with the use of the, tawag dito, undefined terms. Yung segment, rays, angles, etc. Next, postulates, these are statements that need to, um, hindi na kailangan patunayan, while yung theorems naman, ito yung mga statements na kailangan pa patunayan. Okay? So, at least dito, wala masyadong solving. It's more on familiarizing yourself dun sa mga um, definitions, postulates, and theorems. Saka, syempre, isa puso na rin natin para madalian tayo sa pag-improve ng mga theorems sa next lessons. And with that, maraming salamat sa pakikinig and magandang buhay.